This is a demonstration of using Photoshop to create a mask to be used by Starry Landscape Stacker. I've loaded in here one of my uh, standard test images. I'm going to create a mask to go with this uh, image. And now I have selected a brush, black, past is 100%, flows 100%, fairly large, hard edge. And I'm just going to make a really crude mask because I'm really not very good with Photoshop and masks. So there we go. That's my mask. Now, to make something that Starry Landscape Stacker can uh, use, I'm going to uh, select the mask, <clears throat> Command-A to select everything, Command-C to copy it, Command-N to make a new image, which I will call mask, uh, grayscale, I'm going to make it 8-bit because that's fine for a mask, save some space, uh, background is going to be transparent, uh, color profile aspect ratio are just fine, OK, Command-V to paste our mask, and S to save our mask. Let me uh, adjust this so you can see what we're doing. We're going to call it mask.tiff. We're going to put it back where we got the uh, original uh, image file from. Formats TIFF. We're going to save as a copy without layers. And we're going to say save. And this is all OK. So do that. And we're done. So now carrying on in Starry Landscape Stacker. Here are all my image files. And here's my mask file at the bottom. I'm going to grab three dark frames and three light frames and the mask. I'm going to say open. It's opening seven, reading seven image files and an imported mask. And there we go. Now we can step back a bit here and adjust this mask if we want. And we can paint over the mask in um, Starry Landscape Stacker. Otherwise we can carry on and process it. And of course, it's not going to work very well because my mask isn't very good. But you can see how you can quickly create a mask with Photoshop and use it in Starry Landscape Stacker.